Oh, hello there. Yes, my name is Professor Tinkermeister. Welcome to my laboratory. Now, as many of you may know, back on April the uh, 20th, 2010, there was a nasty accident out in the Gulf of Mexico involving an oil rig. Now, some of you may or may not know this, but there are miles and miles and miles of pipeline with oil under all the oceans here. And uh, I actually wanted to demonstrate and let you know what is happening with the uh, oil pipeline right now with all the oil gushing out into the Gulf. This is my Gulf of Mexico, and here I have some crude oil. Of course, I'm not really using real crude oil. So if you want to try these experiments that we're doing at home, you're more than welcome to do it. What do you need? Well, start off with you just need some cooking oil. Cooking oil and cocoa. Cocoa is obviously very, very delicious to drink, but it also makes very good crude oil as well. What you're going to do is, is put maybe three or four spoonfuls of cocoa into the oil. And then what you have to do is then to start stirring it. Now, obviously, you want to make sure that you mix it, mix it very, very well indeed. And as you can see, that is mixed up very, very nicely. And it kind of looks like crude oil. In fact, it looks very, very yucky indeed. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do some experiments. Here is my oil pipeline. And uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take out oil and I'm going to fill this tube. And then I'll be able to let you know exactly what happened down beneath the Gulf of Mexico. So let's get started. Um, what do I need? Ah, yes, yes, my funnel, funnel. Where's my funnel? Funnel, funnel, blue. Ah, here it is, wonderful. All right, what I am gonna do is I am gonna take our funnel and I am gonna join it to our oil pipeline. Put it in here. Now, obviously I have lots of oil made up here and that's what I'm actually gonna use today. So you want to make sure if you're doing these experiments at home, you want to make sure you're very, very careful and you don't want to make a mess everywhere. So I'm going to take our oil and I'm going to start to fill our oil tube right here. And what's actually happening now is the oil is pushing down. Keep pushing. Keep pouring, 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 pouring. I think that is wonderful. There we go. I think that will work nicely. Now, as I turned around and said, there are miles and miles of this pipeline underneath the ocean. Now, what actually happened out in the Gulf of Mexico with this terrible accident is uh, one of the pieces on the bottom of the ocean actually broke. And if you could imagine, this is our oil pipeline right here running into the ocean. Let's actually see what happens when it breaks, shall we? I'm going to hold this up and let's see what happens with this oil. I'm going to start off very slowly, first of all. Oh my, my, just look at that. That oil is bubbling up through the pipeline. Now, as you can see, the oil is actually floating up to the surface. Now, depending on the temperature of the water, this oil can actually settle somewhere in between. Not all of it floats up to the surface like it's doing here. Wow, just look at those plumes of oil that's floating into our Gulf of Mexico. It's certainly making a big, 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 big mess. Now, of course, you can actually see this. This is pouring out much, much slower than what it does in real life. And in fact, let's try a little experiment, shall we? Because obviously there's much, much more pressure underneath the oil. So let's see what happens when I blow into our tube. Oh my, 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 that's hard work right there. Let me blow a little harder, shall we? Oh, maybe a little, little hard. But you know what? You can certainly see the way the oil has gushed out from our pipeline. What a, what a mess that is. Now, obviously, this affects many, many people and also much of the aquatic life and the bird life here in the Gulf of Mexico. 
So we're going to do some experiments in our next couple of videos for you to let you know what actually happens and what is being done to help. So we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.